the super chat says, what's up, fellas? Mike, I heard that Jarvis trying to get at you yesterday for saying that Ye saved Jay's career. I got to get him back. LOL. Elaborate. Why? I'm curious. Listen, Jarvis probably taking my words out of context, but if he wants Jarvis to take here too. if he wants to take it there, the proof is in the pudding. There's a lawsuit out there that Kanye had that said he revitalized Jay-Z's career. Look at the blueprint. Who created the blueprint? Who created the foundation for the blueprint, right? Kanye West. He did. It's just the truth. I just envisioned, and, in, my mind, I just envisioned in my mind like you and Jarv arguing about Jay-Z and Kanye. And it made my head hurt a little bit. When I and so, all right, so you start there. Cool. That carved a whole new path for the rock sound, right? Jay kept going in that path, utilized Kanye with the Blueprint 2, what he did the first single, uh, Me and My Girlfriend, whatever, whatever. And then, boom, Blueprint, not Blueprint, the Black <laughs> Album happens, right? Yo, Jay said, come outside, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to explain all of this, right? So, Black Album. Jay did that on his own, retired. Yo, but Encore is on there, and we do have Lucifer on there. We do have... The DVD, what we seen, and you know, you know, I gotta get my soul right. That's that's Mike, before you go any further. I don't like that you started out this conversation by bringing up the lawsuit, not some rap shit. You know, I'm, well, just, I'm, I'm just, I just wanted to, <laughs> I just want to tell you, like, you started off with the lawsuit. Not with I rap just shit. wanted to bring up that it's documented that Kanye West has said this himself, and this ain't just Mike talking, right? No, I mean, it's like Jarvis <laughs> in the chat right now, Jarvis in the chat right now, flexing on you a little bit. I just I want you to win this debate, so I need you to leave the lawsuits out of <laughs> So the Black Album happens. Great album. Great way to go out. But here's where the trouble starts. Because it's 03. Now you got to come back in the game. Can we say Kingdom Come kind of was not it, right? No, that ain't no good. Kanye's not involved in that, really. Jay wasn't involved with it either. That was the problem. <laughs> oh, and then you get American Gangster. Love that album. Puff, Chauncey, and LV did their thing. Kanye is out of the picture on that, but really didn't have a lot of hit records on there. Even though Kanye's voice is on the hit record on there, the Rock Boys, we in the house, right? So, Blueprint 3 time. Kanye's name's all over this one. Jay has hits again. Uh, you get DOA. Kanye's all over that, even though that's produced by No ID. Um, you could even tell with the Kid Cudi collaborations and all of that, Run This Town. Hit record. Does Kanye have the best verse on Run This Town? What say you guys? I don't know. I think he has the most memorable verse on there. But that happened. He did, he did dust Jay on that record. He did, that happened, he did dust right? Jay on that record. I am going to give you that. Jay got dusted on that record. And if you look at the back of the Blueprint 3, who's the executive producer of that? Kanye. And if Jay at that time. string and up top, um, uh, two bee stings, and I'm bee sting. <laughs> and we got to keep it real. At that time, if Jay is giving you executive producer credit, <laughs> nigga, you did this whole damn album. <laughs> <laughs> Jay ain't got to give nobody producer credit in 2009. Executive producer credit, that is, I mean. You know what I mean? If Kanye's name is right next to his on executive producer credit, I would have to think that he's half of the direction of that, if not more, right? And even look at the album cover. This was the first album cover that Jay did where he didn't have his face on the cover, and it was a bunch of records. It was on some artsy shit. That's Jay, right? I mean, can we be real here? He and then, probably chose the cover art. And then what happens after that? Oh, watch the throne. Definitely. See, okay, so first of all... I <laughs> definitely need a Jay for that. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm saying. Watch the throne ain't like that, right? But that don't mean nothing for Kanye or for Jay. But Both no, no, no. Everybody no. need to come to the terms. And At the end of the day, that. though, cool. Jay's known for his bangers and his hit records. Daytona better that than shit, Watch the Throne. That shit got Otis on it. That shit got uh, niggas Otis in Jones. Paris on it. Like this is this is Jay Got true to me. form. Like you gotta you gotta admit as much as I love American Gangster, it ain't no Otis or niggas in Paris is on there. And this is what Jay's known for, the bangers. It is a better album, he, though. It is a better album, but I'm just saying, Ye is able to give him what he's true to form on in that era, right? I, I, and then I, 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 and then when you go to uh, Holy Grail, no Ye, no hits. Let me, let, let me submit is. this to you, though, Mike. 
Well, those records that you're saying that Ye did, those albums that had more hits, well, they have more hits than Volume 1 and Reasonable Doubt, and that'll make that shit better. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it makes it better, but what I'm saying like, is... Like, Jay's what, a great album maker, so it's he like is. he doesn't necessarily need hits. Is he a great album like maker in the saying. 2000s, though? That's what I'm saying. Like, in the 2000s and beyond, he's more so known for... You mean after 2010? Well, yeah, let's just talk about Retired and Coming Back. Is he a great album maker? After the Black Album? No, he hasn't been a great album maker since the Black Album. That was his last truly masterful piece of work. American Gangsta's close. Blueprint 3 is solid. Watch the Throne is overrated. 444. I but mean, again, let's look at it like this, too. Like I said, I want to I want to put a nine millimeter to four, four, four head and just like end it all. It's not good. I'm so tired of y'all saying it. when you have no yay, you have Holy Grail and you have four, four, four. Now, I don't want to just put this oh, to Jay. Holy I don't want to put this to Jay. Right. Like, let's look at common. Yay's involved. You got B. You got finding forever. Yay is gone. You got universal mind control. Let's just keep it a buck here. And shit, we'll go to push a T. Ye's involved. Daytona. <laughs> Ye is halfway involved. You got this almost dry. Like, it's what it is, man. Like, the dude is something different. And this doesn't just apply to Jay, but he's helped Jay the most. Can we say that? I mean, that's just numerically proven. He's just, he's done more tracks with him than anybody else. Oh, oh! You're talking about by the numbers. Yeah, oh, sheer volume too. Did a whole I album with him. Like, <laughs> so for me saying that's not disrespectful to anybody. He just got the best help. I mean, he got the most help from the best helper in the game. Correct. I mean, these things are um, these things are factual. Yes. <laughs> I want to hear what Jarv has to say. I'm, I'm sure we need to have a whole segment. We bring him on for that. I believe Jarv just, believe Jarv's been in the chat clown. <laughs> I'm yes, sure Mike. he has. That's why I would like assume. He said, Jarv said Monday at 4, <laughs> 24. I guess the 24th, he would like you to come outside, Mike, onto the wraparound table. Where well, are we going to meet? At um, uh, 444? 444? <laughs> Is it going to be 4 o'clock? 4 minutes? <laughs> Uh, so hilarious. That's why I would. Now let's do it. Let's do it. 